Hey y'all, want to give you a little tour of where I've been staying here. It's Front Royal, Virginia. Well, I've been doing my section hikes in the Shenandoah National Park. This is Stumble Inn Hiker Hostel here in Front Royal and just a fabulous place. I've had a wonderful time. I just want to give you a little tour of it. You cannot beat the view in the backyard of this hiker hostel. It is exceptional here of the surrounding hills and mountains in the Shenandoah area. They've got a beautiful, big, huge passenger van. So if you're traveling with a group or a tramily, uh, they can accommodate you here in this uh, big blue van. They pick up at a few of the local trailheads, which is included for free in your stay and others you know, for hire for a shuttle. But uh, everything's very accessible. And, uh, the owners live upstairs and the hiker hostels down below. So I'm gonna take you in and give you a tour of that. And the really cool thing about this place, we'll talk about later in the video, is it's actually a nonprofit. It's a 501c3. The hostel is uh, run by hikers, for hikers. So they really know their stuff when it comes to the local trails, not just the Appalachian Trail, but um, all trails that are up here in this area of the Shenandoahs. You've got a refrigerator, you've got a hiker resupply. You can buy items here where there's also a hiker box. Take what you need, leave what you can. You can buy items. It's all on the honor system when you check out. Um, great little common area. Super cozy and opens to the back porch. Let me show you some of the accommodations. Here you've got a twin room, considered a bunks, but it's a twin room for two. This is one of their private rooms, the queen room downstairs. And, uh, and you've got a common bathroom, just around the corner here. Great shower, great water pressure. I've enjoyed that after each day's hike. Then another bunk room down here with four beds. And uh, downstairs they can accommodate uh, eight. And then upstairs there's another bunk room. been a super comfortable place to hang out. Hang my hat while well, I've been getting those Shenandoah miles down. Great views, fire pit area. And, uh, there's a hammock in the far corner, but it looks like the wind's got that. It's been pretty windy up here lately, but this is just a super nice place to hang out. Super nice. Heater on the back porch when it's cool. Hey everybody, Laura Peaks for Pounds. I am here with David. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Thanks, Peaks. Stumble in Hiker Hostel here in uh, Front Royal, Virginia. They've been helping me out tremendously um, with my hike here in this area to get my miles down and helping me slack pack. And so I just wanted to introduce him and talk a little bit about the hostel, but more importantly, the fact that this is actually a nonprofit. It's a 5013C? C3, yeah, 501C3. This will be our first year that we've been blessed by the IRS to officially be a nonprofit. We have to abide by all their rules, mm -hmm. but uh, it's very consistent with our uh, with our mission here at, uh, at the Stumble Inn, which is to take care of today's hikers and take care of and help create tomorrow's mm -hmm. hikers. We can talk about that if you like. So yeah, you've got, um, we wanna talk about their foundation, AT Kids Foundation. Do you wanna tell us all about that? Yeah, yeah, thanks Peaks. I appreciate the opportunity to have <laughs> this conversation. Um, obviously I'm, uh, I'm pretty charged up about what we're doing here at Stumble yeah. Inn. Both Danielle and I, and uh, you guys will get to meet her. Uh, we through hiked, the AT back in 2018 and along the way we knew that we wanted our hike as many people do on on the trail and shortly after getting off the trail to mean something you know bigger than ourselves yeah. and um, 
our first inclination as with a lot of hikers that we've met over the, the past four years is I want to get out there and do trail magic. I want to shuttle for free. And that's, that's, you know, fantastic. We had a fun time doing that, but we thought, well, what if we could merge in what we're doing at the hostel with our passion to give kids a chance, give ch Appalachian kids a chance to experience nature similar to that of a through hiker. You know, what would that look like? And we came up with this idea, AT Kids. So it's, it's a different kind of trail magic. Mm -hmm. You're giving magic to kids uh, from nine to 12 years old, um, a chance to go to camp for a full week right here in Front Royal at the 4-H Center, which is also a 501c3. And for about $400 a kid, the kids come out, come out here, all expenses yeah. paid. So the transportation, the three meals a day, and then all the activities, most of them outside activities, leadership, followership, how to build a fire, how to leave no trace. All these things are woven into uh, a really thorough curriculum. And the kids yeah. who come out here on scholarships is what we call them, yeah. scholarships. The kid doesn't know that their, their stay has been paid for. Oh, wow. um, only the parents or guardians and Katie Tennant, the director of the regional 4-H out here, they're the only ones who know. Everybody else, uh, it's unnecessary that they know. And it provides a real safe environment for the kids to get out right. there and uh, experience stuff. So what we try to do is um, maximize the hostel in a way that does take care of today's hikers. You know, give you a really good stay, you know, where you get a good meal, soft bed, town run, all the accoutrement that you would want, you know, to uh, make sure that when you step back out on the trail, either north or south, because we're almost about the halfway point, you feel recharged, mm -hmm. both physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, to get back out there. But all the donations, tips, and all of the profits stumble in goes to the foundation, and that money can only be given to other 501c3 nonprofits uh, in the pursuit of getting kids out into nature. That's written mm -hmm. into our charter, Lovely. which the IRS has, and that's how they uh, perform the accountability. So, uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, so, yeah, not only is it a great place to stay, but it's a great cause that it's you know, teaching future generations the value of getting outside, um, exploring nature, exploring the trail, specifically around the Appalachian Trail in this area. So it's a phenomenal concept um, that you've started. And what provoked you to want to do that, to go in that direction, yeah. just for the, the kids? Well, going back to 2018, when we mm -hmm. uh, were going on our through hike, mm -hmm. you know, we can't have kids, but we love kids. Yeah. We, 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 and we're desperately uh, aware of the impact of technology, mm -hmm. you know, social media, sure. uh, rampant drugs. I mean, some of them are systemic for decades and dec decades, but the social media phenomenon really struck us as something that was having a detrimental effect on on young kids, uh -huh. and we, we could, you know, it hasn't been, hadn't been proven yet in 2018. And just now, some of the peer reviewed journal articles and, and studies are coming in to say it's no longer correlated to depression and, yeah. and what have you, it's causing it. Okay. And uh, that'll be discussed, I'm sure, um, in, in higher levels as these, you know, reports come in. But we thought back in 2018, if we could do one thing, yeah. one thing for one kid to change their trajectory in life just one degree that would be worth it. It's so, you know, up, up till now we, we've, uh, I mean, this is all the generosity of hikers. This isn't our money, you know, um, but the, the unbelievable uh, generosity of AT through hikers, section hikers, flip floppers, uh, day hikers, people who stayed here. We've had Canadians going fishing. We've had people from Israel that wanted to go explore Civil War battlegrounds. I mean, we've had people from all over the world common denominator, they're generous souls. Mm. They understand that their time in nature is important to them and they can see how important it is to kids and they want to give. So um, we've put about two dozen kids through camp in the last four years and we're just starting to scratch the need. Sure. You know, some of the, the poverty stricken counties right in this area, right on the mm -hmm. Virginia, West Virginia border, right along the Appalachians, over 70% of the kids that apply to go to 4-H yeah. uh, for their week long camp, there's eight sessions a year in the summer, 70% uh, require at least some, mostly all of the 
the funding to funding be there for them. So, uh, you know, we're scratching an itch that is uh, important and we think that this concept can grow. And all we're really trying to do is provide a mechanism for hikers and others that are interested in the trail, mm -hmm. a an easy means with a great deal of oversight to give back in a way that creates the hikers of tomorrow, these kids that- That's awesome. You know, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful cause to get kids out in the nature and teach them about the trail and teach them uh, just general skills yeah. that yeah. you know benefit them for the duration of their life. So that's fantastic. If someone wants to make a donation to AT Foundation, how would they go about doing that? Well, we do it in a number of ways. You know, they can contact us directly uh, via email and uh, Peaks, if you could put that on. Absolutely. You know, we can work that because we could take, you know, cash, credit card, Zelle, PayPal, um, you know, numerous ways. We'll figure out a way. Mm -hmm. You get a legitimate receipt that you can file with your taxes. It's got our federal employee uh, identification number on it. So it's it's all legit because uh, it's, all, you know, tax deductible. And uh, I think the easiest way we found is just to do it via PayPal. Uh, even though we do lose a little bit of money, PayPal has to make their money. Uh, it's a great way to track it. It goes mm -hmm. straight into the foundation account. There's no middle person involved. And uh, my promise to anybody who donates is to get that re uh, that receipt back to Perfect. you. And it's okay. a nice little receipt. It's got all the information all right. you need. Yeah. I'll put a link to all of their information in the description of this video. So great. Well, thanks, David. I appreciate you explaining hey, that to us. Yeah. Yeah, I've enjoyed my stay. They've been instrumental, and it makes me feel really good that my uh, my money to the hostel is going to AT Kids Foundation for a good cause. So thank you guys uh, uh, for following along and for tuning into this video, and I'll put all those links in the description. Also, I guess that's me. Searching for the love and peace that's escaped me until now. Pray to God that I'll be found walking around.